Welcome back to Train Signal Citrix Zenap Training. You're watching Preparing for Basic Administration for Citrix Zenap 6 1Y0 A18 exam lesson. All right, so the technical lessons are out, school's out, guys. <laughs> now it's ready to start investigating the CCA exam that you would need to pass in order for you to become certified on Citrix Zenap 6. What I'm going to say is that after all of these lessons, after the hours and hours and all the effort that you put in and the lab that you set up and all of the things that you've done, and I know some of you don't believe in certification and maybe others do, I'm a huge believer in certification. And I encourage you that after all of your efforts, at least you want to be able to, to get the satisfaction of knowing that you passed the exam and you have that certificate that says that you are now a CCA, a Citrix Certified Administrator on Citrix ZenApp 6. So I'm going to encourage you to start looking at the exam, start understanding what it's going to take to pass this exam. By now, you guys are Zen Masters. I have no doubt in my mind this exam is going to be a cakewalk for you. So what is the exam profile? We need to understand what we're up against in order for us to prepare better for it. By definition, the 1Y0-A18 Basic Administration for Zitrix NAP 6 exam is aimed at measuring a candidate's knowledge and skills of installing, configuring, and administering Citrix ZenApp 6 implementation in an enterprise environment. And the key word here is in an enterprise environment, which means that they're stressing that you need to know more than just, well, how, how do you install it? How do you publish an application or two? They want to make sure that you understand and know that you need to understand how policies work, how printing works, how to troubleshoot printing, how web interface works, how access gateway works, how secure gateway works, etc. You need to have a very very broad understanding of ZenApp 6 in an enterprise environment. Now the 1Y0-A18 exam consists of 64 questions. It's not a lot of questions and I know you will, will slam dunk this exam 100%. Now if you're native English speaking you have 90 minutes. For those that are nat not native English speakers or taking the exam in a different language I am going to invite you to visit the uh, Pearson View website to get more information on well uh, how long the exam is in your language maybe or if you're not English speaking and you're taking it in English they give you I believe a little extra time now the passing score for this exam is 67 percent again it's not very high and I want more than 67 percent I want you guys to score more than that this exam is administered by Pearson view they can be contacted on the web www.view.com or you can call the 800 number that's um, on the screen if you're in the United States. Another resource or source of information around Citrix certification and Citrix training in general is a Citrix website under uh, citrixtraining.com, so I encourage you to visit that as well. Now, before taking any kind of exam, but specifically before taking Citrix exams, you need to understand the topics, the exam topics, and the weight of each topic. So that if you know that you're weak around maybe a certain topic, you might want to revisit it. You want to take a look at the percentages and say, well, you know, there's a topic that I'm weak on, but it is only maybe 2% uh, or 3%, but I can I have all the other topics covered. So it gives you a level of understanding of where you're at sort of um, in, in relation to the exam topics and weights. So I've broken it down here for you uh, by topic and by weight so that you can take a look and if there's any particular topic that you feel that you need more work on you can watch the videos again research it a little more uh, so that you reinforce your knowledge and as you'll notice in every one of those classes every one of those categories we've covered the exam objectives and we've gone way outside the call of duty when it comes to the exam objectives so you guys should be in a really really sweet spot here to take this exam and pass it with flying colors so I just wanted to put that in front of you so that you know what you're up against study this well know where your weaknesses are and address them accordingly now candidate profile who does Citrix think should be taking this particular exam what does Citrix say about this exam? Now, I'm going to read off, off of the screen just because this is the whole idea here. But the 1Y0-A18 exam is a rigorous examination of subjects that are critical to an administrator's role 
as defined by subject matter experts at Citrix. Now the SMEs at Citrix can be um, engineers and architects and product managers, etc. Those subject matter experts are defining what the role should be for a CCA candidate. Now, the ideal candidate could be a network administrator, network engineer, systems administrator, systems engineer, desktop administrator, etc. So it just depends on you know, what, what your title is within the organization, but I've tried to put here the broad or the depth of what I could think of that could be good candidates for uh, the CCA exam. Other candidates could also be Citrix certified administrators on other products like Zen Desktop or maybe Netscalers, etc. that are looking to broaden their certification skill sets with Citrix and maybe want to look at a Zen App 6. And again, uh, to reiterate, Citrix recommends that the ideal candidate have the knowledge and skills needed to install, configure, and administer Zen App 6 in an enterprise environment, as we've been talking about all along. Personal study recommendations. So obviously I want you to watch the videos and watch them again and again and maybe revisit those videos that you you know you don't feel very comfortable with. Take a look at the again the exam topics and weights. Figure out which topic you're not still 100% comfortable with and maybe revisit those videos. So I, I re encourage you to take a look at them again individually, not necessarily in order this time, but just by which topic you're not feeling you're there yet. Um, if you feel that you need to investigate test preparation, I really recommend um, CitrixExperience.com. They have uh, excellent test uh, engines, excellent test guides. So you, you'll be able to get you know questions and answers from there, and they, they have a great engine that, that tests your knowledge on uh, the right topics and gives you an idea of where you stand in comparison to the real exam. Explore our topics in greater detail using Citrix eDocs if, if you need to or the Citrix knowledge base. Uh, I'll give you uh, some links uh, at the end of this lesson where you can go to get the eDocs and the knowledge base if you need to just get a greater detail on, on certain items. If possible, build a home lab. Nothing beats um, hands-on experience. So play with the product as much as possible. Build your home lab based on everything we've done in this course there should be nothing in this course that you can't build in your home lab now here's what not to do you've invested we've invested I can't say you've invested alone we together have invested a lot of time building your knowledge of Zen App 6 I don't want you to take the exam based on brain dumps we're not even I'm not even gonna talk about the legal aspects of it I'm going I want to talk about your personal aspirations of what you're trying to do. You've sat through this course, you've acquired all this knowledge, you should be able to walk into that exam and pass it with flying colors without looking at brain dumps. I don't care how busy you are, I don't care whatever, this exam isn't difficult, it's not difficult for you guys. I've poured my knowledge into this, I have no doubt that without brain dumps, even without test uh, material in some cases, you will be able to pass this exam. The only reason I would recommend that you look at some test prep engines is just to familiarize yourself with how this exam is being asked. Well, what types of questions are being asked? Is it true or false? Is it multiple choice? Just get familiar with the structure of the exam. Otherwise, there is no doubt you will walk into that exam and you will pass that exam. So no brain dumps for you. I want to make sure you stay away from that so you have that sense of satisfaction once you finish this exam that you earned it. Credit towards certification, you should always check around credit. You might be uh, eligible to earn credit by passing the uh, Zen App 6 exam towards other things. And it's obvious that after you successfully pass the Zen App 6 exam, you will be awarded the Citrix Certified Administrator on Zen App 6 certification. Now, this credit can also go towards other more advanced certifications uh, that you can aspire for within Citrix such as the Citrix Certified Enterprise Administrator CCEA and the Citrix Certified Integration Architect CCIA. So the CCA in most cases is always a building block, it's the first step, but I wanted to make sure that you're aware that there are other certifications that Citrix offers that this exam and this certification would count towards as well. With that, I hope this lesson was informative enough for you from a preparing for basic administration for Citrix Zen App 6. I hope I gave you enough tips and, and recommendations on what to do 
uh, and structure of what the exam looks like that would enable you to sit and pass this exam with flying colors. I wish you the best of luck while taking this exam.